In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to register your theme and what to do before importing demo content. Let's get started. So first of all, let's navigate to plugins. Over here, we can see that I have the Bridge Core plugin installed and activated. This plugin is absolutely necessary for you to activate. If you do not have Bridge Core installed, you can install it by navigating to Appearance Install Plugins. So after you have Bridge Core activated, you will see Bridge Dashboard in your Options panel. So let's go ahead and click on this. Over here, you will be asked to register your theme. So here you should enter your purchase code and your email address. If you're not sure how to locate your purchase code, please refer to Envato's article. We will link the article under the video description. So I'm going to go ahead and register my theme. As per theme forest rules, one license is required for one domain. So if at some time in the future, you wish to use your copy of Bridge on a different site, before doing that, you will need to deregister your theme on your old site, and then you can register it on your new site. This is something to keep in mind if you plan on clearing your WordPress installation on your old site. Before doing that, you should deregister your site so that you can later register it on a different domain. If you need any help with registering or with deregistering your theme, please contact our support. We will leave the link to our help center under the video description. You can open a ticket or send an email with your purchase code and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. Down here, you'll see an overview of your system information. For demo import, we recommend having certain settings on your server. And in this section, you will see whether your settings meet the minimum requirements. If one of your PHP directives does not meet the recommendations, here you will see error messages. You can fix this from your hosting control panel, or if you're not sure how to do that, you can contact your hosting provider and ask them to increase the values for you. So you can let them know which directive to modify, and here you will see what the recommendation is. My settings are now looking good, so I can proceed with the demo import. So that's it. In this video, we showed you how to activate the Bridge Core plugin. We talked about registering your theme, and we also talked about checking your server settings to make sure that they meet the minimum requirements before importing demo content.